Now available in paperback and coming to Kindle Unlimited, John Haynes, Dark Succubus, the man who rules the world, is tempted by a sultry succubus in this all-new John Haynes series adventure. Get John Haynes, Dark Succubus, in paperback. Children of the Corn strike one mo again. And in this incident, which I read in an article on the New York Post, 60 of these Negro Children of the Corn decided to flash mob a Philadelphia Walgreens. And as they flash mobbed this Philadelphia Walgreens, they threw merchandise off the shelves, threw merchandise at employees and customers. And then several of them shoplifted merchandise out of this store. And this incident with these Negro children of the corn parallels an incident a couple of months ago I talked about in another video where 500 Negro children of the corn converged on downtown Chicago. And as they converged on downtown Chicago, they antagonized many people on the street, harassed people on the street, and assaulted people on the street. Now, these Negro children of the corn are a serious issue that no one in the room wants to talk about, because when you have large groups of young teenagers converging on places like downtown Chicago, or places like Philadelphia to participate in flash mobs, it clearly shows how our man crisis here in America is affecting our children. Because these Negro children of the corn are a byproduct of the man crisis, a man crisis which was created by feminists who demonized men and changed the culture where we devalued and minimized the role of fathers in the household. And because we devalued men, minimized the role of fathers and the role of fathers in the household, that's how we got these Negro children of the corn. Because without the father in the home to create structure, create guidance, and provide leadership for the home, what happened in many of these single mother households and some of these households with these beta male fathers is that these children grew up like stalks and because they grew up like stalks without any sort of pruning or care they wound up growing wild and this is why we have these feral children roaming about like packs of animals and they're running around like packs of animals again because they have not been taught any sort of structure they have not been taught any sort of rules, and they have not been taught any sort of respect for authority, and they have not been taught any sort of structure or order or how to even function as a person in society. And that's why we have these Negro children of the corn roaming the streets in packs, because they grew up in a culture where they did not learn how to be part of a family unit and because they did not learn how to be part of a family unit they did not learn how to be a part of a community and because their single mothers were too busy working making money what happened was they were raised in daycare and because they were raised in daycare what happened was they, instead of learning how to submit to parental authority, they learned how to submit to peer authority. And because they learned how to submit to peer authority, they do not respect adults or people and in authority. And what they do is because they go out here and wander in packs of, of children that can be anywhere from a group of 10 to 15 all the way up to that group of 500 children and that 500 group of children of the corn is all due to the complete collapse of the family unit 
and the complete collapse of the family structure. And because these children don't have a family structure and they don't have a mother in the home to teach them the concepts of right and wrong or a father to enforce the concepts of right and wrong, this is why we have these children of the corn running about and doing things like participating in flash mobs and going into stores like this Philadelphia Walgreens and going in there to terrorize the customers and shoplift from the store and some of them participating in wanton violence where they're just destroying things for the sake of destroying things. So when I take a critical examination of this incident, it is yet another incident and as related to the season of the simp because in this season of the simp we are going to see violence just like that in a horror movie and we're going to see many of these incidents and many on all of these incidents actually interconnect many people will sit there and believe that they are isolated incidents however all of these incidents they connect into the man crisis we have going on here in America because without that father in the home to provide structure, without that father in the home to provide discipline, without that father in the home to provide order, this is what we get. Negro children of the corn out here, children who are growing up to terrorize people in this season of the simp. And in this season of the simp, we are going to see many more horrific acts of this type of urban terrorism and this type of urban violence because America refuses to acknowledge where the Negro children of the corn came from and the Negro children of the corn came from many of the policies feminists implemented because these strong independent women said they did not need a man in order to raise a family and the result that we got over the last 50 years are these Negro children of the corn and these children of the corn are growing more feral with each passing generation and unless we do something to bring the father back to a position of leadership and authority things are going to get worse instead of better and if they continue to get any more worse we may have anarchy in these streets because if we don't have fathers to teach and maintain order, the children of the corn are going to grow up to become the adults in anarchy. If you'd like to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon, my PayPal, my Cash App, or, or, and you can also pick up my book, The Man Crisis, to learn more about these children of the corn and the causes of them. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback and Kindle Unlimited. Isis, all that glitters. The goddess next door takes on a bikini-clad bank robber in this action-packed all-new Isis series adventure. Get Isis, all that glitters in paperback and Kindle Unlimited today.